Hi, good evening everyone. Uh, make it six o'clock, so I'm going to open the meeting. Um, so before we start, just to go over the evacuation procedure. So a fire drill is not expected, so if the alarm does sound, please evacuate the building quickly and calmly. Please use the stairs and do not use the lifts. Once out of the building, please gather outside the Yorkshire Bank on the opposite side of the road. Exit by the door by which you entered the room or by the fire exits which are clearly indicated by the standard green fire exit signs. If you do need assistance in evacuating the building, please make yourself known to a member of staff. Um, can you also make sure everybody's got the phone set to silent, please? Thank you. Uh, have we got any apologies? None received, Chair. Okay, thank you. Good. Chair, um, Councillor Pandera has texted me to say that he's stuck in traffic. Okay, thank you very much. Moving on to agenda item three minutes. Can we confirm the minutes of the last meeting held on the 15th of January are true and accurate? Agreed. Thank you. And are there any other declarations of interest other than those disclosed? Um, it states on the declarations of interest that I received the first three from the Nicholas James Interest. Uh, that's no longer the case, and that's uh, reflected on my register of interests, so it shouldn't be printed on that. It also says that I'm the Deputy Chairman of the Neaton Conservative Association and I've got out of that now. I know that's no longer true. Okay, thank you. Those are noted. Uh, not aware of any public consultation. So moving on to agenda item six. Um, recommendation from Audit and Standards Committee from the 19th of March regarding Vice Chairs at Regulatory Committees. Can I pass on to you, Shanaz? Um, yes. If you turn to um, page 10, um, this report has been approved by Audit and Standards and the Planning Committee now, and it was pending for approval from the Licensing Committee. It was initially raised at the Constitution Review Working Party um, in order to um, allow us to brief a Vice Chair if the Chair is not present at a committee. The proposal also reflects what we have for the OSPs and what we offer to the main opposition group. You will see in Appendix A the actual drafting of how it will change within the Constitution itself. Thank you. So, to enable debate, debate I'm going to move the recommendation as printed. Any member? Councillor Arndon. It all seems a bit pointless, the arrangements that we have in place uh, have been there for a long time, probably longer than I've been here, and served us quite well, so this is just a, a, something that somebody wants to put in there, uh, and, and really I don't understand why uh, they want it. But no doubt the ulterior motive will surface in full, full time in the future. Any other member? So I've moved the recommendation. Does that have a seconder? I'll second that, Chair. Thank you. Any other member? Okay, so we'll move to the vote. All those in favour? Against? Abstentions? Thank you. So I'm not aware of any other items. So I declare the meeting closed. Thank you very much everyone for attending. Thank you.